Welcome to Mediocre Gaming, and today we're playing Payday 3. Well, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm Zero. Let's get to it. So today we're doing Rock the Cradle, but we're doing it quietly. But before we get to that, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and ring that bell to be notified of all future episodes as soon as they go live. So let's get into it. So Rock the Cradle is... Uh, the mission, the heist that you are targeting, the Neon Cradle, and the crypto wallet that lies within. But you have to be quiet, otherwise the crypto wallet gets wiped and it's pretty much game over. You don't get nearly as much uh, of a payout. So first thing you want to do is you want to go up to the bar at the end of the Neon Cradle and pick the lock. But don't get caught picking the lock. So if someone sees you picking a lock, there'll be an alarm set up and then the wallet is wiped and it's all over. So you need to go over here, uh, past the, the DJ booth, watch out for the camera and pick the lock for the office up here. All right. Once you have it open, go ahead and go in. Now you'll have, you can see the case, but it's uh, basically chained up or inaccessible. So you have to hack the computer. Hacking in the computer gives you the information that you're going to need for the next step. And as you can see on the computer, that the accountant's office has the PIN number for the vault and the accountant, uh, the accountant's biometrics will open the container or whatever you want to call it for the crypto wallet. So in order to get the crypto wallet, you're going to have to do that, but you've got a long list of things that you have to do in the meantime. First of which is going to be hacking Rishkin's phone, which is the person in charge of the neon cradle. So you need to find her. She's walking around sometimes upstairs, sometimes on the main floor, and you have to be within a relatively close distance to her. Now, if you're in the private area and a camera or a guard sees you, they're gonna raise the alarm. So stay next to her until, boom, you're hacked, it gets crossed off the list. Now you can go back to the office. Go back to the office and unlock the case by scanning that QR code that you got from the phone that you hacked. Now you might have to be in kind of the right position to do the next step. Um, so just kind of move around until it pops up. And once it says open the case, go ahead and open it up as long as no one's watching you. Uh, but you're in a secure area. So if someone did happen to see you, you'd be in trouble. Next step is to authenticate the VIP cards. In order to do that, you need to go back down to the bar and across right next to the VIP open the door, watch out for the camera that's just on the other side. And you're going to need to get to that computer that's just on the other side of the door. So go back here. You have to put the VIP cards on uh, the scanner verification system, whatever you need to hack the system while it's hacking. You can go ahead and just get to a spot where you're not being seen. Uh, wait for the camera to move away from watching you and then it should be done there you go now the cards are valid and that's for everyone in your group so just get out move over and then they will go ahead and open the door at this point you can grab the blue access card uh, but we'll come back to it so get down the stairs and you're going to look for the IT office. Now, the IT office is being guarded uh, both by a camera and by a bodyguard. So while you're, you go downstairs, there's going to be a lot of rooms that you can look through, uh, that you can lockpick, that you can unlock, and, you know, interactive types of things. So take your time. You can go look around as much as you want. Now, there is a lure that is right next to the bodyguard. 
Just make sure you're not being observed while you're doing it. And then lock, uh, lock pick the door, uh, but make sure that the camera isn't watching you while you do it. So wait for the camera to move, then go ahead and pick the lock and open the door. And you're one step closer. But before you do that, what you're going to want to do is you're going to need the red access card. So back it all up. So before you do any of that, picking the lock or setting the lure, you're going to need to get to the accounting office. Now there are guards that walk around, so make sure that they're not watching you when you're trying to do something uh, dubious like picking a lock. So wait for them to move on. The cameras and the guards, they don't mind if you're there because you have a VIP pass, but they do not like you being in a secure area. So go up the stairs, look out for the camera that's at the top of the landing there. There it is. Wait for it to move on. You can open this crate uh, grate if you want or not. I like to kind of uh, plan for the worst all right, so the camera moved. It's on the door right now. Okay, now we can go ahead and pick the lock here. You should have plenty of time. Boom, and you could actually open it and get in uh, if you get all the uh, quick time moments in there. That door doesn't open, so it's completely useless. Uh, just wait. If the camera's looking at the accountant, accountant's office door, then wait for it to move on. But if you got everything just right, you can open the door, get in, and then close the door behind you, and no big deal. Now you want to go over to the safe, which is in the corner there. Go ahead and pick the lock. Just like in the tutorial, once it starts shaking, go slow. Once it turns green, just wait for a couple seconds and then it'll lock into place for that uh, position. You got three positions. You can see they're just below the dial. One's locked in. The second one is now locked in. Now we just have to get the third one. The way that they have this set up where it's uh, it goes slow, then it starts going fast. You can get it right away but it takes a uh, quick, quick timing. Now remember that number, whatever it happens to be for you, it's random, so mine's 4288. You'll need that for later, or possibly need it for later. All right, so once you have the red key card, now you can go back to the IT room. Now the bodyguard should be on the other side of the door, so they can't see what you're doing, but there is a camera that is in that room. So make sure that camera doesn't see you. There's also a crate in there, uh, which may have some loot. Go ahead and use the car. Make sure no one's watching you. Get into the IT room. Now, once you're in the IT room, then they tell you, oh, by the way, you can't actually do the thing that you need to do to get to the crypto wallet, even though it's right there on the other side of this door. You have to go either to the accountant or... Do it yourself. You have to reset the uh, the power to the IT room. And remember this, whatever it happens to be for you, for me, it's D175 blue. So paths diverge here. You can either go to the accountant and get his help. To unlock the, uh, the door to the crypto wallet, it's biometric, so... You need the accountant, which may not be uh, very easy. I didn't do it that way. I just did it the other way, which you'll see here. So the accountant's right down there. I came across them as I was opening doors. And now we need the blue access card. So if you didn't get it before, uh, go back up to the entrance to the VIP area. And right there... The bodyguard has the blue key card, but make sure you're not being observed when you pick it up. 
So crouch down, get at a good angle, and then if it doesn't say observed, you're good to go. Go ahead and grab it and then go back down to that door. Now there's two doors that need a blue key card and one door that needs the red. We've already gotten the red door. Uh, the two blue doors are right across from each other. So it's this one and the one across the hall. Open it up. We're going to go ahead and close it again just so no one comes by and disturbs our work. You can open this. You don't have to. If you're going quiet, you don't need to open that up. Now just look for the box that has the letter and number that you had seen written down. Uh, open up the box and then flip the switch that it said. Uh, mine was blue. So there we go. Anything else is going to cause an alarm. So make sure that you remember what it is. Now we're going back to the accountant's office and we need to hack the computer. Now this will reset the biometrics so then you can open it or anyone can open it. I'm not really sure, but as long as you can open it, that's the important thing. There we go. Now we've got it. Uh, make sure you check the accountant's office thoroughly. There's bound to be loot there. Uh, in total, there are, yeah, don't, don't mind the fake numbers that are strewn about otherwise. All right, so we need to go back to the IT and the door is open. So now crypto wallet is just there for our taking. There we go. Now we just have to secure the wallet and make our way out. So it is, we're nearly there. plus anything optional that you may want to do in addition. So we go out of the IT office, uh, watch out for the camera that's right there. Once it moves on, there we go. Now we can go out. Uh, pretty much no problem. There we go. Now just go to the little symbol there on the end and there you go just toss that bag over boom done and now you have a choice you can just run out and escape or you can go and grab some more loot so the accountant's office had two duffels worth of loot uh, we had another one in another area that we could grab and then, of course, there's still the vault, uh, plus some more. And I only got about half, just over half, 10 out of 18 bags. There's 18 bags total that you can get. And in order to get that full amount that you see on the pre-mission page, you need to get every single duffel and secure it. Now the crypto wallet, I want to say, is worth about a third or more. I played with a group that set off the alarm, so the wallet was wiped. And I want to say we only got 200 something thousand, and uh, the range is like 100 to 600 thousand. There we go, there's the door. To the vault, you want to make sure that no one is watching you. And of course, it can feel a little weird going around. We'll go back and grab those bags from the accountant's office. You can put those in. Just remember where the, it's not this side, it's the opposite side. You can just go straight over. Uh, as long as you're in the private area, you can go and sprint from one side to the other. Obviously, no one thinks any anything different about someone running through a VIP area of the club. Oh, 
So every duffel that you gain will increase your, your total at the end. But the, the crypto wallet is the big one. Make sure that the guards aren't looking uh, at you as you're going around. You can still skirt around them because their, their bar is not going to fill up right away, even if they see you leaving. If they're right next to you, that could be a problem. All right, so. There is a camera just to the left, so you will have to be mindful of that. Plus, you'll have to be careful of the guards that are walking around. So wait for the, the camera. Go ahead and unlock the door. And there we go. We're going to close that door just so no one bothers us. And you can see with the black light, you have fingerprints. So that gives you, uh, at least you know what the digits are. But, uh, you know, once you get into the safe in the accountant's office, then you know what the number is specifically. So it's not a big deal. So load it all up into duffels uh, because that takes a few seconds a piece uh, unless you have a perk that'll lower it and just toss the duffels uh, now if a guard sees a duffel it does look a little suspicious but if they see you with a duffel they don't think anything of it it's completely natural for a customer to have a duffel bag on their back uh, but if there's a duffel on the floor, then they'll get suspicious. So you might want to leave it here right next to this door. Um, I actually threw it farther uh, to make it easier to get from one spot to the next. So it's up to you. Uh, if you've got four people that can move the stuff relatively quickly, it probably won't matter. You put it next to this door, you go ahead and everyone grabs a bag and then whatever is left, you come back for. You know, or you just, since you're doing it quietly, you just wait, uh, you bag it up, you walk it over and then you go back and bag up another one. It's up to you how you want to do it. Uh, just make sure that you get it over or at least on top of that. Otherwise it won't count. Now in order to get out, you do need the blue access card. Like I said, you don't have to uh, have the Or you don't have to just walk around. You can run in the private area because you do have uh, VIP access. Just when you go into the secured area, if you're running, uh, you're going to, or a secure area. If you're running, uh, the guards might hear you and then they'll, if they're within a certain range, they'll hear you running and they'll say, hey, what was that noise? And they'll come after you. So... I don't know that the game, unless you've played previous versions of the game, you don't necessarily know that something weird's going on. So the guards saw the bag and they're looking around, but don't do anything crazy uh, because you're su supposed to be there or you can be there because you do have the VIP card. So you just wait for them to move on and then uh, come back to the bags and keep on going. But that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check us out on social media and thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And we'll see you next time.